previously on Truck and Logistics Simulator. Rub cut. Oh, on to the top! No, we've not made it. That one's going to cost a recovery. Where have we recovered? Underneath the bridge, exactly where it is. I think this is new already, to be honest. I think this whole section here is new, because I don't remember seeing this little Riviera part underneath the bridge. So this is definitely new. Welcome back to Truck and Logistics Simulator. Um, this is the actual update. This is the official update which includes new straps and trains for pallets. It includes a new roads and a new old town and narrow streets, improved European signage and a few other fixes along the way, including the traffic density. So this is the stuff that I was looking at previously because I got the work in progress. So um, these are all the things that are now there for you. So, so it's a little bit expensive expanded on, building on it as slowly, but that's fine, it's a very small team, it's still still, it's still it's uh, in-access game, so we're going to take out the pickup truck, as I promised, and I'm going to explore further around the area, the other side of the map, to see if we can find yet more things, so that's what we're going to do. Oh, and there's a new loading screen as well, isn't that marvellous? So we've got a different kind of loading screen now. That's okay, it's nice to see something different, a little man in there, ready to go. And here we are. It's it's night time as usual. So let's do the, the usual thing. And I'm going to adjust the time slightly so I get, get the daytime. We like a bit of daytime. So there we are. We're already in the vehicle, ready to go. Um, we're, this is the... Which side of the map are we on? This is the side. This is a little side app. Um, app um, um, map. A little side map that we're, we're on. It's a little side island. One of the ones that's got a little bit there. Not a huge amount. But this is this will this will allow us to, to explore better. Now, you can you can improve the density of the traffic now there's all that involved which has been I've, uh, which is which is, of course in the work in progress has been there for a little bit which is definitely good we all want a bit more traffic there's nothing wrong with that it kind of adds to the the enjoyment of it apparently the, the vehicles now can um, actually follow more road rules which is excellent and we're going over there that's why we're exploring next because we've been all over that side we're going this way <clears throat> so let's do this Give them the old horn. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, and the dials are all correct now. Um, that's what they said. The dials now uh, are all highlighted properly. So, so you can see that I was indicating for no good reason there whatsoever. So let's go this way, and then we'll hit the road and go across into this bit here and see what we can find in this new area. Whip in here. Not new. Well, it's not new. It's just a kind of an add-on from the the existing area, if that makes sense. Wow, the sun's blasting today. So let's see what we can find around here. If there is anything new within this the city limits here that I haven't seen previously, we've got to give it a, got to give it a try. A bit of handbrake there. The next thing I'm going to do is dive underwater and have a little look and see if we can find anything under the water while we're at it. Because we because because there's quite often things under these seas. And so you see there's a, there's a nice island over there that looks needs exploring. Let's have a little look down here. Let's see if we can spot anything new about it. Better physics apparently are in the game now. Certainly seemed like better physics there when I was jumping over there. Don't see anything new just yet. Especially in this particular area. But there are some more mountain roads. I'm hoping that they've added a few other odds and sods to it as well. Which includes sort of additional missions. Hopefully. There was certainly a look of larger and longer vehicles. <clears throat> no, that's the original turning off the road. That's fine. That's the, the same same point. Nothing exciting there. I'm just looking in there. I don't think I've ever actually come this far around on the whole thing before. To be honest with you, there's a bit of stuttering going on there. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of a lag going on from in the in the game. Shouldn't be. <clears throat> I've got a fairly, I've got a, a, a very beefy um, computer nowadays for the for, the, for for my gaming. In fact, a very beefy computer indeed. This this is this I think is new, because yeah, this looks this looks new, and I'll tell you why because it's or it's certainly been improved upon because it's higher up on the on the sort of the the, the, the rock face here. 
There's quite a few lovely... Do you, do you, the thing is, these are all saying to me, there are things to do here. You know, these, this building over here, the the, the, the um, forklift trucks and all that. I'm sorry, I'm set the, oh, mind you, to be fair, that computer's just dragging itself around that corner before it even saw me. <clears throat> it's saying that there are lots more missions coming within these places. And here we go, down here. And... Don't think there's anything. There may be some 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 some, uh, some sub things that are there that that uh, that that car's just spinning its wheels there. Some sub things that are there that that may have been added, but nothing particularly. Nothing that's nothing that's standing out and going wow. There's something massively new here. Well, that's all right. That's all right. We're just adding to it slowly. That's excellent. That's excellent. We've had some. There are some really nice roads around the other side. Let's go get a load though and do it. Do a do a little journey. Let's go a little load and then we'll have a little swim. We'll check out whether or not there's anything interesting swim wise. So these are the vehicle things that are available now. This is for the owned vehicles. These are the options I have for owned vehicles. Um, if you need them to swap, I think it still happens. Yeah, we click on it several times. You'll get different options available to you. Um, so let's see what we can find. <clears throat> There's a 6,000, a pretty simple one. Let's take that one. Let's take this one all the way back to where we came from. Oh, I like the new screenshots. They've changed that. That's, that's definitely appeared. We now have screenshots that when we're doing things. So, start the engine. And reverse this in. And in we go. Hit the trailer button. I'm going to jump, jump in the cab and we're going to drive. Still rolling backwards. <coughs> Now, there should be a jump at the end of here. Let's see if we can hit it. Do you see it? Here it is. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! I couldn't have... I couldn't have... I couldn't have done that if I tried. Let's see. Uh, nope. I'm going to have to recover. That's all right. It'll recover me on the road, which is kind of handy. So let's let's do it. Um, so th this is a fragile cargo. So the the thing is, it, it can it can get damaged with 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 movement. So yeah, we have got a fragile car but cargo on this one. Let's get back in the the, the the actual cab and give it a whiz down the road. The computer's not sure what it's doing. Details down there in the uh, bottom left of where we're going. That's our that's our GPS telling us where to go. It's also in the centre of the console, but uh, I don't tend to follow that. Don't tend to follow either of them, really. Just tend to just tend to go for it. Well, I do. I follow them every time, but but <laughs> we're flying all the way. I'm quite pleased to see some progress, um, some some really serious progress being made with this game. Um, I, I I know that they plan to. I, I know that they 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 they're pretty, um, uh, you know serious people when it comes to this game they are actually making real progress there is a the switch version out there i believe that the the, the mobile version hasn't yet appeared as far as i'm aware um but that but but i've i've often said this i'd rather they were concentrating on those sort of consoles and pc versions of it than they were the the mobile versions and i know that, that a lot of you are waiting for the mobile version um i would wait for it to be more mature before worrying about uh, before worrying about it on on the mobile um face of the if it all what a glorious day. We went over those mountains the other day as well. And going down the road. A little bit of horn. Lovely. And there's this new town there. So down the bottom of there is a new area. That's kind of nice, isn't it? To see, that's like an old town with some narrow roads and streets which you can go around for fun. If you want. That's a nice new little area that was put into the game. And... I don't think there's any other new areas that I can see. Oh, there's the highest jump there, at the top. Oh, proper flipped that car there. Hit it so hard. Oh, it survived. Doesn't know what to do though, but it survived. It's exploded into nothing. And then we're heading across here, but that's the highest jump. Sorry, yeah. Up there, top of that mountain, is the highest jump. That's the always my favourite. You've got to get up there, and you've got to throw yourself off this. It's like the law. I did it last week um, for the fun of it. I think then did I do this last week or the week before? I might have done the week before actually. 
have a look through my videos though if you've been if you're new to the channel have a little look through the videos to do with uh, truck and logistics simulator i really kind of learned it uh, or learned about it as i was going as i was i was kind of playing it so so it does take a little bit of learning about it um uh, the, 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 i think after you get past the first four or five episodes i'm really kind of getting into it then and sort of and building um sort of exploring and, and learning about it it's i always call it the crazy delivery um driver um uh, the, uh, sort of game and uh, i liked the fact that that when the the um sort of footage or trailer for, that came out for this that they they they, they kind of went with some crashes in it in the trailer for the for the for the new thing which to, to me says that they're, they're going with that they're accepting that, that that they've created a game where where crashing and sort of flying around and leaping over stuff is actually all part of the experience it's all part of the of the of the um driving this game um and and doing doing good things now I'm just going to point this out while I'm going past. Up there is our new mountain passes. So it doesn't appear on the map, but they are there. New mountain roads, well worth exploring. Good fun. Excellent fun, in fact. Excellent fun. But again, this is another thing that I would like to see. I'd like to see, maybe in the multiplayer, some racing options. Or even in the single player, some time trials. I would like to see those, possibly, for specific bits. Uh, you could do time trials with the actual journey, the, you know, the, 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 the deliveries themselves. But, but, but without a doubt, you can definitely do some time trials. So there's a computer car that's come to a complete halt. These two are crashing into each other. That one's come to a complete halt. The toy company... Excellent. I wonder what they sell. I hope it's good stuff. I got some Star Wars figures the other day. It's very chuffed. Discounted Star Wars figures. Can't beat them. So, here we go. And... There we go, round here. And we're up to the ice cream truck. And we're in here. Let's just get inside, and we'll do that. I do love the, the I love the the wildness of this game. I do love the 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 the, the sort of the 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 the, uh, the the sort of wild driving, the wild computer driving. The the, the worse the computer is, or the less uh, sort of control it shows, the more I enjoy it. If that makes sense, I am I'm a very I'm very much everything else is. Uh, not, not. Uh, I mean, I, I enjoy other delivery games. Don't get me wrong. Um, but, but this one has something about it. There's a, there's a, there's, there's a, there's a, there's an enjoyment that you don't get from any other kind of delivery game uh, because of the fact that it's, it's slightly wild. It feels, it feels, uh, slightly again less polished, but and rougher but in a good way um if, if, I, if there is such a thing so um I, without a doubt I, it's it's one of my it's one of my favorite sort of sort of uh, strange chill out exciting games that you can you can fly around on and just 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 generally enjoy yourself sort of finding something to do um finding things to do but that there is there needs to be more to do soon that's what i think is a big problem i know that there's a lot of stuff that's been done let's see there's a strap thing there i'm gonna have to have a, actually to be fair I'm, I'm missing a trick here i should give you uh, we should do one with a, that requires a strap, some straps. Um, so we need to see some straps being in used on our or uh, on our on our crates. I haven't actually seen how the straps work though. I know that they're there, but I don't know whether they're automatic or not. Whoa! Uh -huh. Ripped the entire fence down. Didn't need that fence anyway. Okay, let's get up to speed. No speed limits yet. No, no, uh, no um, uh, sort of policing it yet. It's all fine. Four by four. This is a bit of a bit of a machine. This one actually, I do like this one. It's very easy to drive. Very easy to handle. Um, it, it's one of the my. Sort of the what uh, 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 once you get to the sports car though, the sports car is fantastic, phenomenal. But 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 uh, but but as I as I said before, I've lost all my I lost all my cash because it's all on my other save and it was all on my other computer, which is a bit of a shame. So so I lost my lost my cash. Going the wrong way, by the way. But I do know the city's fairly well. Here we go down here through the city district. These lovely big high rises. I would love the way a way to get up those high rises as well. I, I say I'm quite kind of strange about the way I feel about this game. I, I want I want to do silly things. 
Oh wow, look at this lot. I know I just joined in there, but that's ridiculous. They're all just driving through that. I've just gone through that gap there. Right, let's go. Police car. Oh, car on its roof. And we're going down here. To the main road shortly this way. Here we go, main road's down here. Ouch! Ah! Oh, driving around like a maniac. Oh, wrong button. Want to go inside the cab there. Let me just do that. If you're interested, I'm playing this on an Xbox One sort of Microsoft control pad style control pad. And basically, most of the things are mapped to it. There are a few things that you require the mouse for, um, but but most things are mapped to the to the controller, which is really good and very useful. Put the lights on. I've got my fragile cargo. We do have to do a little cargo that we have to carry because I want to see what, how it straps down because the, the, that option is now is now here. I've never quite worked out how to turn the strapping on though because I, although I've been playing the work in progress for a while, I never seem to, to work it out. Uh, I guess it's there somehow, but I'm not sure how how I do it. I thought I might be able to click on the, the, the straps themselves and well, the, the, the little marks, the indentations for the straps and use them that way, but didn't seem to didn't seem to work. There's another jump. That's at the bottom of the top big highest hill, basically. I'm not sure how you can hit that. That would be just amazing if you could, though. If you could do, like, one and then barrel roll your way over the second one, that would be amazing, I think. It would be an excellent sort of uh, use of the, of, the, of, the, of the thing. Now, I'm hoping that this is in this section down here because there's a jump that gets, in, gets you into this part. It isn't. That's a shame. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was... I knew that was coming. The moment I took off from the, the whole thing, I knew I was in trouble. Oh! was there. There, Tom. Right, okay. I love the design for these levels, though, because they always leave gaps so that you can get on and off. So, so for instance, there's a gap here. Imagine I'd come on the wrong junction. I could use that gap there to go across. So they, they, there are some very, very sensible uh, design choices made, especially with roads. Um, some games don't make that giant choice. They don't allow you to, to kind of sneak across. But that's actually fine in the games that they are. But this one, that's a really good design choice. That's really, really useful. So, so that you're not on the wrong side of the road. You know, you can pull yourself back over without actually having to fight with it or attempt to try and jump it in some way. It's really quite, it's quite a sensible design approach to the whole thing. Whoa! Oh God! I, I've managed to get myself wedged between the two. I think is this the Suez Canal all over again? Am I the ever ever red ever, evergreen or ever given or whatever it's called? Just for a second there, I turned into ever given. <laughs> I thought it was called Evergreen though, or is that the name of the company? Blocked the entire Suez Canal. That was very topical of me, wasn't it? If you're watching this, um, this is this is 2021. Um, a a large uh, um, cargo can ship managed to turn itself, uh, so it crossed basically the entire Suez Canal, thus blocking um, 50 ships a day with cargo and imports from 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 uh, um, Asia to to Europe, um, um, which was not very good, obviously. Okay, we do need... I know where we're going here. Let's see. There's a jump here at the end of here. We're going to go over the jump. Here we go. Here we go. yee Oh, that was a very stunted landing. Let's push the bin truck out... The bin the bin thing out of the way. Oops. Not a, That was a bit of a stunted jump from me. 
Let's go, though. We're almost there. We're almost to our destination. We're not far off. We need to do at least one journey now with the... With the, with the oh, my God, the computer cars are, are even more... Um, not working properly with their, with their, with their AI. On this way. They're, they're kind of running into each other. I love it. I do love it. I love that. Bicycles. Almost destroyed the bicycles. And this is where we're going to. In here. It's always this place. This place is always getting stuff. It's basically because the longer journey, so the ones that play dividends when it money wise in the game. So so you always end up doing the longer journeys rather than doing the shorter journeys. Right, so we just need to park in any direction through this. I used to think you had to park at the angle it points at, but realistically you just have to do that and park it. And there you go, you're done. Which is a bit of a cheat, really, because I, I think that you, they, I think they wanted you to park the right direction, but then, they, but they never really sorted that particular element of it. Let's just change the time so it's a little bit earlier in the, the morning, and let's see if we can find something that makes us tie tie something down. So there's a job thing at the front of here, I think. Get okay, a get a bit of uh, handbrake turning going on. Sun is coming up beautifully. Look at that. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Okay, let's see if we can find a job that requires us to tie something down. There's one that puts a cargo in the back of our vehicle. Let's do that. Let's see how we do that. Oh, that looks real good, doesn't it? That's nice to see those pictures. They could, Yeah, that, that, that's something that we, 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 we've been missing. So we've got a little forklift truck here. So... Um, and we'll get this precariously balanced That's uh, very precariously balanced <laughs> oops start that again yep my my forklift skills amazing amazing Right. Okay. That that's actually interesting as well. That's new. Um, the blocks in the middle of it used to not have any kind of. Uh, you could just turn through the things. So they've actually improved the forklift uh, box, sort of, uh, uh, you know, crate at the bottom of it. Right. Off we come. Oh, it's strapped now. Look, it's strapped down. Look at that. we got straps. We are strapped. We're strapped down. We have straps in the cargo thing. So there we have those straps. That's cool. That's very cool, actually. So we can see that working now. So that means I can throw it around a bit more and it won't move, hopefully. Yeah, because they used to fly out. When you used to go over jumps and stuff like that, they, they, they would go out. I think I'm going to miss that. <laughs> <laughs> let's see how much doubt let's see how much abuse we can give this and see if we can make it fly free all right let's let's I mean let's let's just proper abuse it let's just take the shortcut here and let's proper abuse this 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 strap thing and we'll see if we can get it to we can see if we can get it to come off all right I'm gonna hit something head on in a second get a bit of speed up first all right here we go oncoming cars here we go. Yeah, we can still break them. But it goes back into being strapped down. So, although... Oh, look at the box is broken. So, although you can break that, the, 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 you can still, you can still absolutely rip it apart. So, I've got the wrong one here. But, the beauty of the thing in the middle, look at that. Good design or what? You can get around it. Excellent. Excellent. So you can still abuse stuff with the boxes. <gasps> do you know what I've never tried to do? I must try it. So I must get a wagon and get a load on it and try and go up one of these mountainsides and fly off the top of it with a with a with the with the wagon. We've got to give that a try. It stayed strapped in. It just got more and more dented. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure I expected that, but I kind of like that. Kind of like that. 
It was inten unintentional, by the way, that that uh, that jump, that uh, little jump thing there. Okay. Oh, used the car intentionally, but then managed to not do it properly. But that was cool. I did a did a did a little bit of did a little bit of special driving there. Oh wow. Oh god, I can't drive straight though. That was a bit of special driving. I'm a special driver. It's not pulling to the left and right anymore though. Oh, it is a little bit. It's less aggressive than it used to be. Before it was really aggressive pulling you left and right when you got damaged. So it's still got a bit of a pull left and right, but it's not as aggressive. Get out of the way! <laughs> I've completely destroyed the cargo, by the way. The cargo was fragile. It's now completely destroyed. You've yet to see what the experience is for in the game, but but that's the, the cargo is just totally destroyed. I haven't gone for a swim yet, either. I haven't done that. Whoa! Hello! Brilliant. Love it. You see that? Awesome. Love this game for the kind of stuff. Don't fix the physics. Never fix the physics. Never ever fix the physics. Don't fix the physics. Don't fix the insane drivers. Don't fix it. It doesn't need fixed. The only thing you need to concentrate on is filling out uh, uh, the, the, some of the game elements, like you know, adding, uh, uh, I guess, races, more vehicles, uh, the 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 the. Um, Oh my god, he's going around that way. Um, I managed to get myself stuck in there. You know, uh, the, 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 you know, filling out the things, hiding collectibles in the levels, more jumps, uh, more multiplayer sort of elements, that, that kind of way. Yeah, you need, we need, we need to do that. Timed elements, uh, more cargoes, all of those things, those are, those are the things that we need to concentrate on. Forget, forget worrying about the physics and whatever else is. I don't care if they go the funny directions, it's actually more fun that they're totally un, 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 you know, unreliable drivers. It adds to the, it adds to the, to, to the experience for me, most definitely. Totally, totally, totally brilliant. Right, where are we? We're going to go under the water to finish. That's the last thing we're going to do today. But I enjoyed that. 100% lost all the money. Still got money for the cargo. 100% damaged the cargo. Brilliant. Excellent. Let's go for a swim. Let's go for a swim. We're going for a swim. So... Managed to smash through all the fences there. Yeah, there's, there's water this way. I'm not even going to mess around here. I'm just going to hit the water. Here we go. Square. Perfect. Here we are. We're underwater. Yeah, nothing, nothing new under here. This, for me, though, is an untapped area of the game. And I know they probably don't want me swimming. But I actually quite like it because it it, it adds a little bit of an element of... of, of, of uh, it's, it's different. It's, uh, it, it, it's kind of a, an element of the game that I want to explore further. Because I know it doesn't... I know, it, I know, I know I'm not going to be under here because I, I can see the distance is broken and the drawer is broken and there's bits that, where there's holes and stuff like that. But I want them to fill it out. I want to put... The, I, want, I, want, I want mermaids and under sea, sea, seas this, uh, weirdness. That's what I want. I want, I want it all. I want, I want the whole lot. I want, just want crazy. Um, and thankfully this vehicle's pretty fast under here. Look at this one going to the boats. Um, you see there's a little dead area there that we're going to hit in a minute. I, I, I want to do stuff under here. I, 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 I know I'm strange. Um, but I, I like the idea of it. I like the fact that you, you can get under here and, you know, go under the, 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 the boats. And work your way over to this port here, which I can't get across because it's, it's now under, you know, you can, you can see it's, it's uh, no longer sort of allowed to go through. You can see underneath the ground. I like it. I know, I'm strange. I kind of like seeing the, the, the inside of the world. Brilliant. There's, there's water, bits in the water there. They're floating. Very cool. 
And there's our yachts floating there. And I'm going to lose it. And we're away. I'm back to the land. But I like that. That's one of the things I like about this game. I just like the fact that I could do that and go for a little water, underwater swim. It's fine. It's a great thing. This game's good. It's very much a lot of fun. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thanks for watching. Next week... We'll try a bit of multiplayer again. And we'll see what we get, how we get on multiplayer and the and and the with the new strapping and all the other bits that go with it. Anyway, um, I will see you soon. Bye bye now.